take you back. Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to Winona Herb Season 3 Episode 8 titled Waiting Forever For You. And as always, if you're not with us last week, here's what you missed on Winona Earp in 30 seconds. Last week on Winona Earp, the word was win hot, as the second best pairing of an Earp and a hot went on an adventure to save a homophobic bunny. Not an actual bunny. The odd couple tracked down some frat boys, won a drinking contest, traipsed through the forest, and kicked some revenant ass. They also almost became gnome wives. And in a musical style turn of events, in the last 10 minutes of this episode, everyone was crying. Nedley became Sheriff Dad of the Year, Doc's vamp card status was revealed, and Winona gave him the old Simon Says, Mama skipped town, again, and once again, the Earp women are left fending for themselves. And that's what you missed on Winona Earp. Okay, so last week, that episode was full of stuff, but not really full of stuff that related to the larger plot of the season. Um, it was really fun, it was really enjoyable to watch Winona and Nicole run around and do crazy shit. Um, so it was largely kind of a filler episode, except for the last 10 minutes, like I said. Everyone was crying, Mama left again, Doc's a vampire still, and Winona found out about it and is upset about it. And um, stuff's happening. I'm very curious to see how this episode gets us back on track with the plot. So without any further ado, let's watch episode 8. Signals. I want to try something. Oh, so Robin's much. coming back. Good one. Good shot. This is why no one will play with us. Only someone had the pull to talk dog into buying a new table. Hard pass. It's the only one that shirt says lasagna Del Rey, and I need it. Sorry, so badly. How is little Christopher Robin? Self-controlling the hunter asshole look? Fine, and I want to do that way. There. <laughs> You definitely did. It's down there somewhere. Where did it go afterward? This is a good odd couple too. I love them. <laughs> that was incredible. I love Jeremy so much. Sometimes when I eat, I like to look at things taste. Things taste crazy. She's so cute. She's so cute. He's pretty cute too, I'm not gonna lie. Uh oh. What is. Oh. 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 <laughs> no! Hey, bitch. Haven't seen you in a minute. Where's her head? Yeah, there it is. Stone Witch back, aka Salt Witch. And she doesn't get her face back? <laughs> I really wish she had gotten her face back. She had a nice face. Caught you something at the supermarket. It's a man. He's not hers, and yet he still let her turn him into a vampire, and there's that whole scene where they were, like, vampiring up and sleeping together, and I don't understand it. You know what's loose here? It's just a super cash BGD. BGD. Big gay dinner. Oh. Yeah, Waverly's a great hostess. Oh! <laughs> big gay dinner, and they're gonna have dinner with Nicole and Waverly. Amazing. Doc, you can't kill Robin. That will not go over well with anybody. So it's not really a dinner, it's just a drinking party. Cool. <gasps> no! You bit him! Now he's a tree and a vampire. Tree pyre. This is you making things right? No wonder why no is moving on. Go off, Jeremy. Okay, yeah, we know. I really don't have any sympathy for Doc in this situation. I'm over it. Hey. Hey, hey. Oh! Oh, she looks so cute. Are you kidding me? 
They're on a date. We haven't been to this diner in a while, too. <laughs> you shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Don't ask again. Oh my god. Wow. This is actually a very nice date conversation. Except they kind of framed him on the wrong side. He should be on the other side. Maybe they framed him on the wrong side so they, they could do that. Is Robin okay? Yeah, he's fine. Is Robin okay? They care about him already. <laughs> That's awesome. Go off. to discuss a few things with Kate with us. You and her Nice. Oh, they're not... They're not gonna stay... Doc, they're gonna stay Kate. I was wondering when you pop in. Oh my god, big gay date night. <gasps> Look at them. This is everything I've ever wanted. Oh, she looks so good. Waverly looks so good. And I, actually, Nicole just looks so good, too. Look at them. They're so cute together. I'm dead. You only get crowned here once, am I right? Do you get a crown? Is there a crown that would be great? Have you heard from Winona at all? Didn't even try to cover it up at the end there. Have you heard? Have you heard from Winona? Have you heard? She's staking. You're blaming his choices on me. Yeah, because it was partly your fault. Lady vampires. Doc is the one responsible for turning me. He said you'd always been a vampire. Huh? Oh, now we have to sit down. Take a seat. Why don't I want to hear this? Voices and I'm sharing us both. And now they have a habit of leaving people who look like me out of official records. We came looking for the lady. We found. Can you buy you a drink? He took the cards? Why did he take the cards? Oh, I have no problem lasting old time. No problem. Oh, <laughs> innuendo <What> abound. <gasps> oh. She's back. What's that? You let him better let him out of the rope. Oh, that's one way to do it. That's another way to do it. What is he wearing? What is that? Is that a onesie? It's very periodically accurate though, probably. Tuberculosis strikes again. Tim alone, and he was sick and scared and dying. Now what kind of force you tell him to do? Cry over him? She can't use Peacemaker. She shouldn't even be able to touch Peacemaker. Where? What? The loopholes, guys. Seems like a pretty big loophole. Ah! Oh my God. Ew, he, he dated Chrissy Nedley? That's funny. What do you think potato feels when it's in the ground? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Seeds in the ground whispering one another. She's like, what the fuck? Oh, the potato lick. It happened. Ew. Uh, she's out there. Mm. I would, but now I'm freaking out at the giant ray sticking out of your biscuit. Not so awkward. I threw this away. It's so awkward, oh my god. Dogs of Empire and Pit Robin. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is that why Robin just licked a potato? Because you guys are all just like a potato. Potato. Yeah. 
They act like that's the weirdest thing in the sentence in each of their parts that they just said. Doc's a vampire. Baltar's ring's following me. Robin looked a potato. Hold fucking shit. I mean, she's just gonna stand up out of there. Oh, the well. The well is vacant again. Needs somebody else to be in it. Oh my god, Salt Witch stole the car. <laughs> and she was holding her hand up. Oh, that's a good. He's like gonna be standing naked in the corner. Please don't do anything weird. Oh, it's weird. Is he shitting on the... I can't. Poor Jeremy, he wanted a boyfriend without PTSD. It's not gonna happen in purgatory. Sorry, Bay. Hey, he's close now. Ultra? What's he close to? And now he snapped out of it. Of course. Hi. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy. Hey. Um, oh! The hand. I saw the hand, Jeremy. I saw it. <laughs> we remember that. <laughs> oh. So nice. That's cute. Go eat your biscuits. The rest of you seen that lady with the flame world mountain over there? Constance Clue. Woman, can't I have one goddamn dinner party without you getting all up in my biscuits? <laughs> Go eat your biscuits. <laughs> She's just looking for things. Maybe don't. So maybe, I don't know. Ooh, nice. Waverly's got juice now. Ooh, some s Stranger Things music. Oh. I thought she said she refused to do the reading. Oh, is that the Stone Witch? Constance? Okay. She So she did the reading. I thought that he came in. Doc came in. Does she like refuse to do this one? I can't read your future. No, I mean I won't. Okay. And it fits Waverly. And now she can't get it off. She really thought that Nicole was proposing. I'm deceased. <gasps> he got his card. Devil. Present. Present is some people dancing. Better be something obvious. Castle? Something good. Something that he liked. I know we deserve to be somebody's meat puppet. Help us find him. There's just nothing left to give. She's as cursed as you are. I actually kind of feel bad for her. Shit. Wow. That was really intense. And like, that was kind of a feminist moment, in a way. I've got a buddy who's a paramedic. I know she haunts what you've become. That's also true. Good point, Charlie. We actually like him. I, th I like him. As an herb, I'm linked to Ultra. Call it fate or whatever, but we're all linked by this curse, so maybe we share a future too. So I need your cards to know his. Okay. That's a you don't wish to know. nice. I don't know. 
Look at her shoes. <laughs> that is the gayest outfit ever, Nicole. Okay, go on. First, the past. The devil. First, two lovers, whoever. A couple normally referred to as Adam and Eve. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. He wants to get into Elysium? Or something? It's Arabic on the ring. It means Garden of Paradise. When Carlos said this was sanctuary, right? That's why. What? What? He's looking for the garden. No. Huh? He's not looking for the garden of Eden. He already found it. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what? Oh, that's really cute. That's really cute. A mother whose children were slain for no reason. That is pain. That is loss. I love how we're coming full circle though with the first season. That's cool. Consider it my consolation gift. Your independence. So she became a vampire to find Doc. It's not his fault though. You became a vampire for Doc? And he became one for you. How does that make any sense? What? Kate's cool. I mean, she definitely... All of her motives make sense now. So there's that, at least. Just the back and forth, man, must be so confusing. <laughs> Well, sure, here from the Garden of Eden. I don't, still don't know what that means. Oh, God. God Hi, Balshar. <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> we should have been glitter. Okay, so that's that, episode eight. I'm so excited that we're back on track. And that was awesome to learn Kate's backstory with Doc and Bolshar's sort of backstory. I'm still very confused about the Garden of Eden thing, but I mean, it's still really cool. It's all, and I'm really excited that everything came kind of full circle from the first season with Constance, and then we got to see her again, but not really see her again, if you know what I mean. She was charred a little bit. But in any case, that was a great episode. I'm so excited to see what else happens. Robin is just the weirdest and I love him so much. Hashtag the potato lick happened. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this reaction to episode eight. Please follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more reactions. And I will see you guys back here next week for episode nine.